Hello and welcome to another episode of Grain and Pain. I'm Michael, joined by James. Hey. Today we have Sagamore Spirit and uh, Angry Rooster Hot Sauce. It's not what it's called, what's it, it called? It's called Angry Rooster <laughs> Hot Sauce. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's gonna be good. You're not about to get demonetized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, Sagamore Spirit was given to me for my birthday um, by John and Michaela, so thanks guys. Uh, I drank it already and I absolutely loved it and I thought it would be great to bring it on the show. Um, it is a rye though, so we have done one rye before. What did we do? It was Copper Fox, that's what it was. That was oh, yeah. given to us from by, Martin. Yeah, from yeah. Martin, that was really good. So this is also another really good rye and uh, yeah, like I said, from my, for my birthday and it was top notch. Mm. Um, you want to jump into it? Yeah, I've never tried it, so I'm excited. What is that? So you can read that. Signature 83 poof. Poof. Poof? Poof. Oh, 83 good. poof. Because it's not proof. 95 points from the Tasting Panel Magazine. 95 points is a damn good score. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing out of 100? Yeah. 50 times award winning spirit brand. Wow, oh, hmm. that's pretty good. I wonder what other spirits they have. You ready for the cork? Yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's, a good one. that's a 4 out of 5 for me. That's a really good. And the actual the, core? The actual? Made out of wood? No. Here we go again. I don't know. That seems a little plasticky to me on the top. It is real cork on the bottom, though. Yeah, at least it's real cork. It feels like wood. Mmm. It's a little plasticky. Wow. Oh. Yeah, this is, this oh. is one that doesn't pour nicely at all, unfortunately. Um. It is, a, it is a really nice bottle though. I like the shape of it. Yeah, so this is actually made in Maryland. Um, they source certain ryes from Indiana mm -hmm. and then they, uh, their distilling uh, plant is in Maryland. So they also d um, make there, but they use Maryland um, water to proof it. So I think it's limestone, yeah. Maryland water. Yeah, so just to proof it, so to get it Maybe, to the, yeah. the correct um, alcohol content. You can smell that rye quite quite prominent compared to the other... That's interesting. Regular. <laughs> <think so>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, compared to some of the other bourbons. Yeah. Um, you want to try it? Yeah, it smells really good. Let's do it. This is very good. Honey really sweet <clears throat> and then you can taste that um, the rice spices at the end but I get honey first it doesn't leave you with like a bad taste it's not like harsh at the end it's not like a bitey mm. it's because some rice can really be good. quite bitey at the end just because of the that rye taste <clears throat> can can get a little harsh <clears throat> at the end I think this doesn't do that this, this is, is really very, soft at the it's end very smooth very good it's so good that's really, that's one of my favorite rye. Rye, that's so good. Wow. That's like way better than, yeah, like bullet rye and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, this is, <clears throat> this is, uh, I mean, it, you said it won 50 awards, so you can, you can tell why just by tasting that. Um, thank you, John and Michaela, for um, showing me this. It's really been top notch. Mm. Um, we don't have a game for you today, but we're going to chat about skiing because recently we just went uh, up a slope so yeah. James happens to be a snowboarder and I happen to be a skier so there are some differences <laughs> some uh, differences <laughs> <laughs> there's always uh, been a <laughs> there's always been a rivalry yes um, and uh, producer Matt actually he switched over to snowboarding for a year, but then came back. He was to like, skiing. "Whoa, that's way too cool. Gotta, go back. <laughs> Gotta go back to skiing because it's way lamer." Snowboarding sucks. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So, and I've, I've I can't really comment on it because I've only skied. I've, <clears throat> I, I don't know. We learned when we were super young. Like so the worst of the worst. <laughs> bottom of the barrel. I don't know. I've 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 always loved skiing compared to snowboarding. I think snowboarding looks really cool. The gears all almost always better than skiing gear. Some yes, of the boards is. that I, I always point out really cool boards to James and really cool bindings and really yeah. cool boots. 
Um, Don't see any of that good jazz for the skis. <laughs> I never point out like really cool skis to James. I'm like, James, look at those skis. Exactly. <laughs> but, but I prefer... I can't say I prefer skiing. I just really enjoy skiing and I don't see how I can like snowboarding more. Gotta make up for the lack of uh, sports <laughs> by cool bindings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a cool kit to make it up. <laughs> funny, funny, <laughs> funny. But, uh, but you learned skiing first. Yeah. So how is that different? Like. How, why are you sticking with snowboarding now and why haven't you turned back to skiing? Uh, because snowboarding is way more fun. It's way better. Like you Do you guys... prefer having your your feet? Uh, I just like on it because it's board. more like because it's like it's like wakeboarding and like surfing and stuff. It's just way I don't know. It I think it hurts more with your legs, I think it hurts your calves more because you're using those muscles a lot more than uh, than skiing because mm. you literally have to stay on an edge at all times. Unless you're going pretty slow, but it's just way better. I don't know. <laughs> See, but I like I like longboarding and I like surfing. It's, but I, so it's like that, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> but but faster and like less risk because like a longboard you can't really go very fast unless you're like amazing and you, and you have, and you have the, the gloves. gloves on. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Have you seen those gloves with the the so just have, like, thing where it just like scrapes? Yeah. yeah. So you don't I know, already wanted to buy a pair of those, but I wasn't good enough. Yeah. It's uh, well, we don't really have a hill to do that. That's a nice thing about yeah. skiing. You just you there's a place where you can go. Mm. But on the on the other end of that spectrum, you don't have to pay to go longboard. You just got to find a really yeah good exactly. Hill. You just have, a, have to have a hill and a longboard. Yeah. Skiing and snowboarding is a very expensive uh, hobby. To, it is to get into to keep up with. Yeah. Even. So this is forty five to fifty dollars. For seven, uh, 750 mil. Fifty dollars, huh? So we could have bought uh, <laughs> a couple. Could have bought a couple. Yeah, yeah, just a couple. Could have bought. Let's see. <laughs> um, the it's uh, eighty three proof, so forty one and a half percent. Yeah, so pretty <clears throat> pretty standard. Yeah, I I actually thought it was a little bit on the low end, but. By the way, you said it cost 50, 50 bucks, right? Yeah, 40, that's, 45 that's, to that's 50. pretty pricey. Pretty um, pricey, but the proof is on the low end. Yeah, yeah, no, the proof is on the low end, but the yeah. price is a little... Yeah, it is a little pricey, but when you have won 50 awards, mm. I think you... And that bottle looks so cool. The bottle is you, really I cool. That bottle. Yeah. I, I think the that pattern there is on the Maryland flag. You know, the, yeah, the yeah. yellow, black, and, mm -hmm. and white? Yeah. What are you going to rate this? Uh, let's see. I'll give it a... It's got a good smell, it's got a really good first taste, and it's really smooth. I'll give it like a 67. 67? Yeah. I'm gonna go, and remember, I've bumped up my Woodford. I bumped up my Woodford to 88, so oh, wow. yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this at a 76. 76? I think I really enjoy this. I think this is flipping good. And and also, I went through a rye stage as well. After I had this, I went only for rye. I didn't try to go for just regular straight bourbon whiskey. It's a it's a good like switch to make between bourbon and rye. I feel like. And plus, like drinking bourbon all the time kind of gets boring after a little bit. You know, a little bit of rye in there, sp yeah, like sp spruces it up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right, you want to uh, get started on the hot sauce? Definitely. It's gonna be good, dude. It's not gonna be good. So, this is... Difficult to open. Uh, how good. This is two, 250,000. Oh my goodness. To a million Scoville. So it's in between there, it varies that much because they have What's the first ingredient? You have a knife. Um, come on, hold me. There you go, I got you. Attaboy. Was there a Terry thing? There was a Terry thing. looked around the bottle like <laughs> six times. <laughs> um, so this is 250,000 to a million scoville. Oh, good. Yeah, so it's got a bit of a range. And I think because they use a puree of, what's the, what's the number one? Um, Jaloko, Jalokia pepper cheese. 
Giallo yeah, so, so, cheese. So, so it's a pure seventy five percent puree of that, and then everything else kind of gets put into. They it. use Jalokia chilies. Yeah, and apparently they are quite warm. I don't know why you. bought I mean, these. if you just I I bought it just so that James had to say the name, Which and then he, I will not. And then he pun intended chickened out. <laughs> Um, you didn't do the... <laughs> it's not even, it's probably like mixed up in there. It's so thick, cause... Did you, do you smell it? No, I didn't, I haven't smelled oh, it. Oh, wow, it does is not it? smell good. Oh, whoa. That does not smell good. It smells very hot. I don't know. It doesn't smell very, okay. It smells mm. like, like if this is good and this, this is bad, it's like that. It's just not <laughs> quite like it just, could be good. It's just on the verge of smelling like crap. I don't know about crap, but it it doesn't smell like your your regular hot sauce. Just pour. Oh, <laughs> just pour it in. I think you're gonna have to like. No, 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 no. no I wouldn't do that. It's just gonna. <laughs> yeah, mix it up a little bit more. Shake it like really hard because you gotta get that. It's like. Film at, at the top. At the bottom, it's like. At the bottom, it's it's watery, but at the top, it, it's been sitting for a while a bit. <laughs> yeah, you know you know why? Because everyone walks past. It's like nope, that's the one that smells like chicken crap. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a tomato dish, like a weird. Yeah, ass. yeah, it's very tomatoey. Oh, it's it is a thick boy. Ugh. I feel like that's a lot for how. How hot it smells. Oh, dude. <laughs> I can't get over the smell. <laughs> Alright, you ready? You get the big piece too. That means you have to put more on. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't be skimpy. I'm just gonna... I just want to try just a little piece first and then we can go big. Okay, then I'm, I'm doing a little piece too then. What? Okay. Think it. Mm -mm. Oh no, that's, I know, I already know it's gonna be so hot. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh no. Oh, it always hurt. <clears throat> that is, that is warm. There's nothing you can do to escape it. It's like running away from- you And we put so little on. That chicken is angry. All right, let's do it. No, on. that's no, not. No, come on, we have to. We have to do it for Carl and for the viewers. We... D dude, it's come the on. same mm -hmm. amount. It's not the same it's amount. It's the same amount. On. Dude, you did it. You it's took the same off. amount. You took off. <sighs> Think it. Oh. That is so hot. It doesn't taste... It doesn't even taste that good. It just tastes like pureed pepper. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Basically what you bought... Pepper juice. <clears throat> oh, it's hitting the back of my throat. Oh, ha. Dude, that is so hot. Come on, we gotta go for another one. Dude, that's fine my nose from over here. Oh, oh dude. Oh, do you, just, you have to get a lot. Come on, I just put a huge chunk on. I got, I got way more than you. There we go. Thank you. Mmm, 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 mmm. Dude, I've never had another hot sauce burn my nose like wasabi, but wasabi goes away so quick, and this just keeps going. Oh, oh, it's warm. Gotta finish it, dude. Is your nose running? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna take a time out. <laughs> I gotta go get some water. My guy. That is so hot. It's pretty warm. Where's he going? Where are you going? I gotta get some water. Don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> That's how hot it is. Chase went to go get some water. He doesn't rate it at a 10, I'm really pissed. So this is also um, extract free, so it's literally just peppers. And they, they um, puree it up <laughs> and uh, stick the rest of the ingredients in, but they literally just puree up like a whole bunch of peppers. Where is James? He must be dying. James! <laughs> James! Oh. It dies off a bit, dude. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, my face. Matt, you know what's funny? What's that? The magma said it was a million scoville. Well, they might have put a million scovel worth of, like, extract in there, though. Mm -hmm. And then we just didn't get all of it. So what's your rating? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> i <it's> a two. <laughs> it's solid, uh, what's the rate score? Out of ten. <laughs> solid nine. Whoa! That is good! No, it's, it's, it's an eight. Overreacting a little. It's an, it's, a, it's an eight. I don't know. You ran away off set to go get water. Yeah, but I haven't had hot sauce in like months. Mm, so you like, know, you got to rate and you got to rate it how it burns you. No, because I'm putting it in the like if like my pain tolerance is not very high right now. Uh, that, so I don't care. We rating it. Yes, I have but I haven't the problem. Had, okay, yeah, no, that, but I haven't had hot sauce either. Yeah. Okay. But if let's say in the next week I would eat a bunch of hot sauces and chilies and peppers I don't know I then think... have a, a hot sauce that if I were to try it now it'd be harder than this one but then I'm like no it's not that bad then I would rate it lower than this one even though in reality it's harder than this one so you're gonna put it at eight yeah at its max for me it was eight and a half easily it's very, it smells like straight peppers. That's what, I'm That's what it is. It smells like, if you've ever been to school, which I hope you have, <laughs> and they ever lay down new mulch on the playground, that's exactly what it smells like. So you, are you, you sticking with your eight? Okay, I'm gonna go eight and a half. I think it got hot. It was very, very hot. Oh, really? Was it hot? At least I didn't run off set. Thank you for watching this episode of Grain and Pain. Now that James is back and relatively with us, we'd like to ask you to like and subscribe and uh, catch us on the next episode of Grand Pain. Mm -hmm. oh, High fives! <clears throat> oh, it tastes pretty good actually. Dude, it's flipping good. <laughs> <laughs>